Well, we are back with a very special guest in our kitchen this morning. Here's a look at his impressive career. The James Beard award-winning chef Ming Tsai is one of the best-known chefs in the culinary world. After opening his Massachusetts restaurant Blue Ginger to critical acclaim in 1998, his success continued in television with his PBS show Simply Ming and his Food Network show East Meets West, for which he won an Emmy. Ming has shared his culinary expertise with the at-home cook through numerous cookbooks, including his latest, Simply Ming in Your Kitchen. Well, welcome, Chef. Thank you, Jeez. Great to be here. Good Ryan to see you, Bell. Chef. Great good to be morning. Here. Good morning. Well, you know, last time I talked to you, you were here with uh, One Pot Cooking. Correct. As a cookbook book. Now you're here with a new cookbook, and there are actually cocktails in this There's one as well. There's lots of things. Uh, yeah, in your kitchen. I'm literally going to be in your kitchen, and we'll talk Whoa. about that. But let's go ahead and okay. dump that, and you take a lime, and you rim it, right? This is some sugar and, okay. and togarashi. I'm going to get the drink going. This is a very spicy. You guys are yes. checking it out. Me. We noticed, yeah. Chef. Right? This thing will put hair on your chest. Yes. Over here. Yes. I don't know if you want that, You know what? I'm hey. 48. I still don't have hair on my chest. So I don't think so. Wow. Asians know how to drink, I have to say. So this well, is a... No, you haven't had this yet, G. This is not uh -oh. only is it strong, but it's spicy. It's got, it's got this kushukado. It's a Korean, you know kushukado, right? It says Korean chili yeah. flake and Man. cilantro yes. infused vodka. Then we add a little wow. creme de coco. Right? This, oh, look at G. She acts like she knows what she's doing. She she's does. I, I think Ooh. that's why they put me in this. Exactly. Side of the <laughs> They're like Ryan. It and looks like you it sit looks back like and you, let her work it. Yeah. It totally looks like you know what you're doing. All right. She so you just does. shake this, right? Just it's the coconut, the lime, um, lime juice at the end. Like you said, it's got a little kick to it. Yeah, a lot of but kick. But the best to thing it. about this, but it's, is it's nice cream. once it goes down. Yeah, you know, exactly. You know, your your tummy feels nice and warm. It warms chest. you up. It and warms. these colors are kind of Halloweeny. <laughs> yeah, I have it's to say. Yeah, kind of Halloweeny. You are know, you gonna? I, I love Halloween. What do uh, trick or treaters get at uh, on at your door you know when they, they come? Get? It's quite funny. They get chili. Chili. Right? I mean, we we have the, we have the normal candy and stuff, but. For some reason, the first year, 10 years ago in, in this house, we started making chili, and it was for the kids, but then we started serving to the neighbors. Now we have a line at my door <laughs> for chili, and we end up with, you know, 50,000 Snickers, because no one eats the Snickers anymore. You, you, know? you just scoop it right into the bag? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or their mouth. Open up. You know, like maybe, the, maybe for the neighbors I don't like. Yeah. <laughs> cheers. Cheers. Cheers, cheers. Cheers, guys. All right. Cheers, cheers, cheers. cheers. Mm. Mm. Chef, reading your, bi reading your bio, it almost seems too good to be true. You're like the biggest overachiever I've, I've ever seen. Oh, you, you went to Yale and got a mechanical engineering degree. Correct. And you went to Cornell. Yeah, you went to Cordon Bleu. You were a professional squash player. Right. Really? And what I, what haven't you done? Well, I'm actually I'm going to take Ryan's spot tomorrow. <laughs> oh, you are. Oh, they didn't announce that? Oh, oh my yeah. bad. Awkward. You get a day off, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah. Awkward. Awkward. No, no, career off, actually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, not, not for a day. Well, well the career. No, you're gone, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so <Man. drink> <laughs> now, what are you starting for us oh, here? Sorry. Woo, so, that's yeah, okay. Next. So this yeah, is some lamb. He's trying to hurt Right. This is lamb, ground lamb. We're going to make you this fantastic lettuce cup. Okay. So all I'm going to do is cook lamb with a little bit of toasted coriander. Oh. All right. So once this gets gone, salt and pepper. You'll learn in my book, and as I always taught, you got to season in, in layers, right? Right. So season this, and when I add the veg, I'm going to season it again. But ground lamb's awesome. It's inexpensive. It's tasty. Um, and you see, is it you healthy? Cook it Would you it's, consider it's, it's healthier yeah, well, than it's the same as beef. I, don't I feel think it's like any. a lot of people don't use ground lamb. They yeah, kind of you know, shy away from it. You go to Europe, you go to New Zealand, right? I mean, there's eight to one ratio of lamb to lamb to people in New Zealand. Yeah. 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 And, and uh, this <laughs> recipe is in your new book. And let's Correct. talk about what's special so about your new hey, cookbook. You can yes, for me. I can. Sure. Um, it's a cool new book. I'm so excited. I, I kind of took my mechanical engineering degree, if you will, the technology part, and I've done two things with this book. Okay. Each recipe has a QR code, right? So with a smartphone, you can scan the QR code, and when you do that, you, know, you can go ahead and do I it. I actually right have the QR reader on my iPad. So you scan this QR code. So, wait, Chef, real quick, before you even go any further, you can just download that from the App Store or something? Your, the you QR code? Yeah, the QR free? code's free. So, okay. it, you know, an iPhone or any of these new smartphones. Okay, great. And it reads I just it. scanned it. And once it's scanned, the shop Shopping list immediately goes to your phone. And oh, there's the, the shopping list. Right, for that right recipe. There. So now you can send it to your husband or your boyfriend or whatever, and they can shop for you. Shopping or at least list. you have it with you when you go to the grocery mm -hmm. store. You're not going to have the book. Secondly, I did 80 full length videos. Wow. Start to finish. Right? So you really are in the kitchen. I'm in the kitchen. So now if you want to see how you make a dish, you, you push the button. There's me in the kitchen now. Full disclosure, because I don't want to cannibalize the sale of the book. Two things: the recipes, the recipes in the book, the quantities. The video doesn't have quantities, because otherwise people would just go and never buy the book. So 
say add garlic, add ginger, add this, right? Oh. And the first two recipes of each chapter are free to entice you. But okay. that's pretty smart because sometimes when I'm cooking from a recipe in a cookbook, I can't quite tell from right. reading it. And, and there's a sushi, like to rule sushi, it's impossible to articulate in words how to rule sushi. A video is, is the way to end. And so for 99 cents, if you want to see the third or fourth recipe in that chapter, you have to buy me. And I think I'm worth 99 cents. I mean, the, 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 the jury's still out. We think you're worth way more than 99 cents. No, I appreciate that. In fact, we're going to be right back with you, and we're going to finish this delicious Wait, lamb lettuce cup. You're doing a good job. Right. What's new is brought to you by Toyota. Moving forward. If you wanted the perfect car, you'd want it to be quick, like a sports car, roomy, like a minivan, smooth, like a luxury car, efficient, like a compact, and tough, like a truck. You'd end up with something that looks a lot like the Toyota RAV4. Lease RAV4 for just $209 a month, plus get $750 bonus cash. And get a lot for less. Toyota. Are you Medicare eligible and concerned about protecting yourself from the costs that Medicare doesn't cover? If so, Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Illinois is your right choice. Call 1-877-613-1126 now for your free decision guide. It will answer all your questions and give you the information you need to make the right decision. You'll learn about Blue Medicare Advantage HMO, the plan that gives you premium coverage with no monthly premium. That's right, no additional monthly premium. Primary care visits are just $7. And you'll even receive prescription drug coverage. Why wait? It's easy to enroll in Blue Medicare Advantage. Every stage of life brings its challenges. Choosing the right health care coverage shouldn't be one of them. Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Illinois. Through it all. Call 1-877-613-1126 now if you're Medicare eligible and want to choose Blue Cross and Blue Shield of Illinois. We'll rush you this free information packed decision guide. That's 1-877-613-1126. Call now. Our U-verse internet doesn't include as many free security tools as Xfinity, which means we have to take care of security ourselves, backing up our photos and important files, and keeping hackers at bay. To do all that, we're building a firewall. Okay, Grandpa Jack. I think we can go bigger. Stop coping with Uverse. Get more free security tools for a more reliable internet with Xfinity. To find out more about this and other great offers, visit Comcast.com slash Xfinity today. Coming direct from Broadway, Sister Act is the hit musical the New York Post calls ridiculously fun. It's the hilarious story of a wannabe diva who transforms a ragtag church choir into the hottest musical act around. And to her surprise, she discovers what sisterhood is all about. So come experience the pure, unadulterated fun of Sister Act, America's new musical comedy classic. You'll leave the theater feeling amazing. Coming to the Auditorium Theater November 13th through December 2nd. For tickets, visit broadwayinchicago.com. kitchen with Chef Ming Tsai, who's putting the finishing touches on his apricot lamb dish. You know, Chef, I have to say, you're really known for east-west fusion, but you don't really like that word fusion. I don't like the term fusion, because fusion has to do with atoms. It sounds forced. That's a blend. Well, you're a mechanical engineer. <laughs> yeah, true, 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 true that, true that. No, but it's cuisine and food is blending. It's, an, it's more of an art. Although I'm a craftsman, I always say. You have a couple true artists, like Thomas Keller and Grant Atkins here. They're actually real artists. I'm a craftsman, right? Yeah. Which, which I don't mind. Oh, I mean, I'm just, okay. this is my craft. Yeah, well, you're also a state chef because you were appointed by Hillary Clinton. So tell us about yeah, that. You know, that was, that's a huge honor. I, I got yeah. to cook for the vice president of China. By the way, now, that was the lamb that was cooked, set aside. This was leeks, garlic, carrots, all right? So I'm going to now put this all together. Okay. And, G, you need to put okay. this Greek yogurt, non-fat, with some dried apricot scallions and sambal, another chili. All right. Uh, the state chef was a huge honor. I cooked with the VP of China, Xi Jinping, and uh, mm -hmm. after doing that, I think that was the catalyst. They, they realized, you know what? If you can make people happy through food first before sitting down and negotiating and yeah. Environment, world policy, mm -hmm. you can actually maybe get more done. Because right. I don't know about you, but when I'm grumpy, yeah, you're not going to get jacked from me. Taking the great wall down, they ain't taking nothing down, baby. You know what I mean? And you know what I'm talking about? Food is <laughs> I love this guy. 
Yeah. Food is really the universal language. It is. And, and, and what I did, obviously, there's Chinese influence in the food I served them, so they respected that, right. that we showed respect to the culture of China. Yeah. And obviously, Rick Bielsa do it for the president of Mexico, and there's all these great chefs in this country. Uh, and I did it in the Azores. I was shooting shows in the Azores three weeks ago, and I was the first state chef to do that, and I was, I was very well received. It was really cool. And I know you work with the First Ladies Let's Move program, yes. and then also, one of your sons, you have two sons, but one of them has allergies. Um, David was born with a bunch of allergies. Soy, wheat, dairy, shellfish, peanuts, tree nuts, eggs. Oh, the whole um, he had, he, Excuse me, he has been cured. That's oh. a whole different story. He has no allergies now. But is it from the food that you're giving him? Uh, <laughs> no, <it's, laughs> you know what? Even funnier than that, it's from energy. Energy work. Really? Like energy work. Qigong, acupuncture, oh, acupressure. Because yes. really? you're not Eastern. only east-west about food, right. you're east-west about I life live, as I well. I live the east-west way, right? I do yoga, but I play golf, so things like that. Mm -hmm. I also have a hole-in-one, Tracy. <laughs> yeah. I've also done so far, but no, I have Tracy Butler. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> but mine was, a mine was a beautiful shot. I wasn't a driver for 100 yards, Tracy. <laughs> Just saying. But one of the things oh you goodness, did Smith. was at yeah. your restaurant, you actually made an entire uh, pamphlet about all the allergies. We did. You know, I'm very proud of what I've done in Massachusetts, we passed the first law for the state of Massachusetts to make restaurants safe. So we have a we have this reference manual. So this is a lettuce cups. It okay. looks pretty good. Huh? And yogurt top? on top. And um, it basically is our guides who on a Saturday night. We know what's in the dish. I don't mm -hmm. care how smart you are. When you're busy, it's hard to remember. Is there you yeah. know what's in that dish? Right. So you eat it like a like a lettuce cup. That's cool. the name. Okay, so you're from Boston, uh, but I have to tell you, where do you eat when you come here? I know you did the Takashi uh, yeah, Slurping okay. Turtle event last night. I mean, slurping Turtle is awesome, mm. right? Really mm. good. Mm. Is that good? Where else do you like to go? Good. When yeah. you're um, I mean, That's you good. have the best chefs here. Mm. All of Paul Cajon's restaurants, Rick Bales' restaurant, mm. Gail Gannon, Rick Tremano are awesome. You have Grant Atkins, who I mentioned earlier. That's good, right? Amazing. Grant Atkins is, I mean, he's <laughs> easy. See, this, this is the really trick. Good. Fill the host with food, then I can do all the talking. <laughs> yeah, the no, have some more, please. <laughs> no, I uh, think Ryan needs to take the rest of the week off. <laughs> you and me, baby. You, man. You, just Ryan, step Ryan. this up, though. Love you, no. but he can uh, cook, and he's yeah, funny, so, and, and he talks back. Awesome. <laughs> what do we got here? So this is a five-spice apple tart tete. These are all in the book, right? And and I encourage you, if you do get the book, download the videos. I mean, it's it's the best way to learn how to cook something by seeing it. and. And a lot of the recipes real time, like this in the video would have mm -hmm. been real time. Right. We would have put the lamb in, and I said, okay, now go cut the mm -hmm. onions, blah, blah, blah. Well, thank you, Chef, you have Chef go. Ming <laughs> in our kitchen. You can have him in your kitchen, too, through our cookbook. For more details on <laughs> Chef Ming Tsai's new book, Simply Ming in Your Kitchen, be sure to visit our website. And Devin Palmer is up next with If Your Space Needs a Makeover, we are hooking you up. <laughs> See you later.